Hey everybody, in today's video we're gonna be doing something a little different. Instead of adding horsepower and making stuff faster, we're gonna add some more space and utility to the old family minivan here. Now last year we went on a long family road trip and with six people and all of our gear, like the baby stuff and coolers and luggage, it was kinda crammed in there. So I've been looking into ideas on how to free up some space in the van and also add a little more utility to it. I looked into roof-mounted cargo carriers, and while they're nice, uh, I would have to add roof racks, since this van didn't come with them, that was one thing I'd have to add, and then buying the roof carrier, and I just didn't think I would get much use out of it. The other option, which is what I chose, is to install a hitch. The hitch gives you lots of storage options. You can install a hitch-mounted carrier, you can pull a trailer, put a bike rack back there, so there's lots of options as far as utility goes. So here's what I chose to give us some more space in the van. Let's check it out. So first is this hitch from Kurt, made specifically for the Honda Odyssey of this generation. Has excellent reviews and uh, looks really great at first glance here. Built really strong, requires no welding or cutting of any sort, uh, powder coated. Really nice heavy duty piece will be more than enough for what we're doing. I've got some accessories to go with that. I've got something called a hitch tightener that just secures your load a little bit, keeps it from swaying around. I've got a um, ball mount. I've got a hitch lock. There's the hardware for the hitch. So to really make this job go smoothly and keep all of our hardware in good shape and from rusting over the years, I've got this Blaster Original PB Penetrating Grease. Now I love Blaster, uh, use it all the time. You've seen me use it for years and years in the garage. This stuff is awesome. This is a brand new product that they just recently came out with. I didn't know about it. They sent me uh, a little jug of it here to try. Um, I've been using it all around the house on different projects. Uh, so I'm looking forward to using it here too. Really great stuff. Has all the benefits of PB Blaster, but it's also a synthetic grease and it has excellent anti-seize properties as well. So this will make a great complement to our installation here. So to really add more space to the van, I chose this Kurt hitch-mounted cargo carrier. This also had excellent reviews and uh, the price was really great, I think, for the utility you get out of something like this. And then for our trip, finally, I went with this Reese cargo tray bag, which fits perfectly in that Kurt cargo tray and is huge. All right, so our first job is to get the Odyssey up in the air. You do not need a lift to do this job. It's uh, very straightforward, but a lift sure makes things easier. Yeah, this sticker's gotta go. Okay, here's everything we need to do this job. I've got the instructions, got our tools, all the hardware. Let's get to work. For our Odyssey, the first step is to remove these three push pin fasteners, which you can do with a flat blade screwdriver. All those loose there's one more little screw we have to undo there and that'll free up this plastic panel now this panel can come out Shoo. <laughs> now you can see why we needed to remove that panel gives us access to all these mounting points Okay, the next step is to free up the exhaust from these two rubber hangers. This just gives us a little bit of room around the frame rail. To loosen those, I'm just going to spray some blaster right on those rubber hangers. So after giving the penetrating oil a couple minutes to work, we can just slide this right off here. Here's a look at the two mounting holes we'll use here on the passenger side. Over here on the driver's side, we're gonna use these three mounting points. Two of these already have a threaded insert in place. This third one does not, and we'll be fishing one up into there. The next step is to clean all of our threaded mounting holes out with a brush. 
If they look rusty or dirty, uh, using a thread chaser is a good idea too. These are nice and clean, so we're good to go. For that third hole I showed you that didn't have a threaded insert, what Kurt gives you is this bit of fishing wire, a carriage bolt, a nut, and then a, a, a carriage bolt mount. And that'll slide through that hole and turning it into a solid mounting point. This is pretty common uh, based on the hitches I've installed in the past, uh, and it works really great. Before I send these bolts up through, I'm gonna give them a little brush of the blaster grease to keep them from rusting and corroding. I'll wipe off all that excess too. Okay, so we just take our fish wire, go up through the mounting hole, and then over to this access hole. There we go. And just pull that through like that. All right, first we pass our mounting block through here, and then thread our carriage bolt into here. Okay, and we feed the mounting block up through first, and then the bolt. And we fish it through. And there we go, look at that. So for this next part, ideally you want a helper to help you hoist this heavy hitch up in the air. I don't have any helpers, so I'm using my trusty transmission jack. Do I wish I had a helper? Yes, I do. All right, we got this thing up where it needs to be. Now we just hand tighten these to get everything located. Now I left the fishing wire on this just so we wouldn't accidentally push this all back up inside there with the hitch. So that really helped. Okay, now we're gonna snug these down and then we'll come back through and tighten everything to spec. All right, we're done. Got the hitch all bolted up and torqued to spec. Exhaust hangers are back in place. And with just one small cut, I was able to make it so this plastic splash guard went back in place here perfectly. I'm not sure why the instructions didn't mention this, uh, but it was a simple mod that will protect everything back here versus leaving it all exposed to the elements. That was not a bad job at all. Uh, I would call that easy. It's something you could do in your driveway. Now, I don't plan on hauling anything huge. I don't plan on pulling like a car trailer or anything with my minivan, obviously. But I think um, as far as the extra space and utility it'll give us, uh, it's well worth it. So there's the end result. I think that looks great. Really low profile. It just disappears from sight but being that nice shiny black powder coat it is making my van look kind of dirty so i'm gonna have to wash this thing okay on to the next project building our hitch mounted cargo carrier let's do it All right, here are all the parts to the Kurt hitch mounted cargo carrier. We've got uh, some instructions that look pretty good, easy to follow. We've got all of our hardware, a couple mounting pieces, hitch mounting parts, and uh, then the carrier, which is mostly assembled. So this shouldn't be too bad. Sippy cup, not included. So there's the tools we'll need today. 17 millimeter, 19 millimeter, 24 millimeter wrenches, and an adjustable wrench. Pretty simple. Align the two platform halves on either side of the two inch shank. 
Thank you. Hey, bring those bolts back. Can you bring my bolts back? Yeah. <laughs> bring them over here. Thank you, sweetie. Okay, I'm just gonna put a tiny bit of the PB grease on here, just to keep the corrosion at bay. We'll wipe off the excess here. Daddy. Oh, thank you. Push it in there. All right. Okay, there it is, all assembled. Maybe 20, 30 minutes tops, even with my toddler helping out. Okay, we have all of the individual pieces and parts together now. Let's go try it out on the van. All right, next we're gonna put in our hitch pin lock. This keeps anybody from taking your brand new cargo carrier. Very simple design. Just put your key in there and turn it, locks it. The key back in, turn it, unlock it, boom. Now I see a lot of people online complaining about these things seizing up. And I would say that's probably due to rust and corrosion getting in there. So we're, I'm gonna give it just a very thin coating of the blaster grease and we'll be good to go. Oh boy hot out here. All right, so in the beginning of the video when we were looking at all the parts, uh, you saw I had something called a hitch tightener. Now that's to help avoid this. So that play that you saw in that movement isn't a defect in any of these parts. It's just the little bit of play that's necessary for you to be able to slide things in and out of that hitch. So what the hitch tightener does is take up that slack and keep your load nice and secure. All right, now I'm shaking this thing good. And you can see it's just moving the entire back of the van. I would call that a must have accessory for this kind of setup. Now, as you can see, this thing sticks out a good bit from your bumper. Um, so if you wanna be able to maneuver your vehicle a little easier, park and stuff like that, the good news is this thing flips up. Here we go. All right, so there's how it looks flipped up and out of the way. All right, as you can see, you can still see the taillights and the plate through there. It's nice to be able to flip it up when you're not using it. That'll be great on vacation when we're unloaded. Okay, here's the last piece of the puzzle, our rainproof cargo tray bag. Now, in the picture, it looks like a rigid thing um, that would sort of stand on its own, but it actually isn't. It's just a big floppy bag. So I'm going to build a little frame system inside. Uh, here, here's a picture of that. Yeah, lots of people have done it online and uh, reported that it works really great. So let's do that. Here are the things we need to build our cargo tray bag support. I've got four lengths of 10 foot half inch PVC pipe, eight of these T fittings, and eight of these 90 degree guys. And here's what's in the cargo tray bag box. There's all the straps and things and hooks to tie it down. And then the big old bag. Okay, here are all the pieces. I'll link to some instructions on how to do this below if you wanna do this yourself. All right, I think this is the perfect time for one of those sped up things with the music over it. Take a crack at getting that frame in this bag. Right. Okay, look at that. This is the frame in place. 
I made one little design change here and I'm not sure if I'll keep it or add this piece back in. But in the original design, there's a piece that goes across here and a piece that goes across here to add a little more strength. Now I've been kind of wrenching on it for a while and if you look at where the attachment points are for the straps, they're at both ends and in the center. And we're gonna have this thing packed completely full. So I'd like to think that I don't need those two bars kind of getting in the way. Um, we'll see how it goes, I'll test it out. I am pretty impressed with this bag. It seems very heavy duty. It seems like it would definitely resist the rain. Uh, it's got these heavy duty straps on here with this extra stitching. I like all of that. The zippers, very strong. Doesn't seem like something that would give out on you and could really take some abuse. Uh, looks like you could lock these together with a little padlock or something. I really like this rain flap with the Velcro. Yeah, definitely pleased with this thing. I don't know, I think it should just come with a frame of some sort. Uh, this just looks like a much more finished product versus a big floppy bag. Let's try this whole setup out and see how it works. I'm really pleased with how all this turned out. Um, I think I could at least fit two kids in there, uh, which will make the ride so much nicer. In all seriousness, it's gonna be really nice to stash all of our stuff in this thing. It'll free up tons more room in the van, make it more comfortable uh, throughout the whole trip, and uh, looking forward to trying it out. And not to mention the other stuff we can do with this besides the cargo bag. I mean, we can haul garden supplies. Um, I'm definitely gonna put a bike rack on this thing. So uh, looking forward to doing all that. So thank you for watching. I hope you found this video useful. And with that said, thanks again, folks. We'll see you next time. <music>